Okay, good day everyone. Right, it's just a quick video. I didn't actually show you the process of what I've done here, but there's no real need to, I don't think. Right, and the issue with the headlights, this is probably a common issue, where there's the adjustment screws on your headlight. There's two of them, one either side. And what's been happening, because um, I've had to adjust my headlights so many times because I'm raising and lowering and, yeah, I've been carrying a lot of weight and, yeah, two passengers and, yeah, so I've had to adjust my headlights several times because I keep altering the situation. And, uh, yeah, I actually made a, I raised the front, at the last video I was having an issue with the front, and dropped down, scrubbing my tyres, and uh, I started to make a video on it, and then I completed the job and forgot, yeah, forgot to actually video it, so, yeah, what I, what I did, I, I'm getting off track here, of course, but, yeah, what I did was, I cut the um, the the caps, the, the covers off the tops of my original shocks. I just cut them. We got a little bit of a ridge there, ain't you? Yeah, and I, so I cut around that, and then I put a spring down inside it, and then put the cab back on and welded it back on. And that's yeah, my temporary solution because I'm. Yeah, 1,500 kilometres from home at the moment, and I needed to get it up off the wheels, and yeah, so that's my temporary solution until I get some proper coilover shocks to go on it, and uh, probably replace the bushes too, but anyway, sorry I didn't make a video about that, but uh, yeah, I'll pull them apart again when I get my coilovers and just show you, well, probably, anyway, back to the job at hand. Right, said so these uh, this metal tabs which plug in into your headlight. Uh, this is your headlight backing, and uh, yeah, these metal tabs. If you turn it too far one way or the other, they just pull out of the rubber. And then do you know, because I'm doing this out on the road most of the time, and uh, yeah, they're even going to pull the headlight out. Yeah, plug them back in, start again. And the other thing that was happening is they were this one here, which the locator was also pulling out. So yeah, you see what I've done for there. I've, I've actually got I've got two split pins. I've got one going through the center. One of these rubbers, the other one already had a hole in it. This one didn't. I had to drill a hole. But yeah, I'll put a split pin through the center. What you guys call in America call cotter pins, but yeah, split pin in Australia and probably in England. Yeah, put a wash behind it and then another one through the the head of the split pin. Yeah, and then pull it through tight and bend it over at the back. So that well, I was going to say it should stop it pulling off the rubber, but it has to. It can't pull off now. So yeah. It could probably come out of here, but I doubt it. That's pretty tight fit into the outer piece, so, yeah. I would think that's going to be permanent. And uh, as you can see here, done the same thing. However, there's not enough of this metal tab sticking through to drill a hole on the outside, so I've had to drill through the rubber, and then because it's you got a tiny little drill and you put pressure on those twisting and yeah if you keep going with it you'll just snap the drill so yeah started it on both sides drilled through the rubber yeah and drilled it enough to put a mark in the middle tab and pulled it out put it in the vise drilled right through then drilled right through through the rubber again I'll put a split pin in there so there's no way they can pull out now it's in there that's good so that ends this dilemma of yeah, having those pins fall out of your headlights so, anyway I'll keep it short it's uh, yeah, it's about 10.30 at night 
I'm out in the front yard here and uh, yeah, there are people asleep in the bedroom not very far away so hopefully I haven't waken them up and uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.